Good morning, fitness fam. It is 7.29 here on Thursday, August 29th. I'm Erin Tarofsky. I'm podcasting to you from Salem, Massachusetts, and this is Crunches and Coffee, your daily-ish five-minute inspiration to get your day started right. Uh, so I skipped yesterday. I was running a little bit late. Um, it was a good day. It was nice. I uh, got home from work, rep to and from work. Um, added some extra time to my rec home. So I rucked about six and a half miles total, two and a half before, four after. And then when I got home, um, I did the hammer. Yes, the hammer workout, which is one of the Go Ruck monthly challenge workouts. I'll put a link in the description. It's first of all, you do a quarter mile sandbag carry. I use 30 pound ruck and 55 pound sandbag. And then you do uh, uh, high rep exercises. So if you're doing it by yourself, it's 150, uh, 150 ruck swings, 150 sit-ups without a ruck, 100 ruck lunges, and 100 ruck overhead presses. So I split them up into 10 sets, 15, 15, 10, 10, and then you finish up with another quarter mile sandbag carry. So that took me a little bit, about 40 minutes. The sandbag carry was another 10. So it was a good day. Six and a half miles of straight rucking, another half mile with a sandbag and then a 40 minute wad. So I felt like I accomplished something that was fun. It was good. There's one more of those daily workouts left. I'm gonna do it probably Saturday and then you get the patch. If you have not done the workouts, you have until Saturday to finish them. It's four, they're not too bad. Uh, one of them has a three mile ruck and that one's a little bit longer but the rest are like half an hour-ish. So try them out. They're on the Gorak website. Like I said, I'll put a link in the description and uh, yeah, get to it. They're good. What else? Oh, today's coffee. So this is actually what I do with my leftover coffee. Um, I take maybe this much uh, cold coffee leftover from like a day or two before out of the fridge. And I mix it with probably about a cup total of almond milk and some fat-free half and half. And then I add three to four scoops of protein powder, shake it up, drink it. It's caffeinated and it also has some protein so I feel a little bit full. And I'm gonna drink this on my way to work today. So it's good. Today, uh, working eight to four, I'm gonna ruck to work again and ruck home. It's a little drizzly right now, but it should be nice later today, so I'm not worried about it. You know, embrace the suck, do the thing, it's fine. Oh, that's my cat, that's Julius. I was wondering how long it would be before he made an appearance in these. Orange Julius Caesar, he's 13, he's perfect, I love him. Don't show the camera your butt, cat, thanks. Um, and then, so I did a thing yesterday and uh, the thing is that Go Ruck put up registration for the female division of team assessment, which is basically a three-day beatdown in God's country in Ohio. And last year, team assessment brought you such favorites as the Human Ratchet and many other uh, tactical slash uh, products of extreme exhaustion. Oh, he's going to sit right here with me. Good morning, kitty. Uh, so this shirt's for you, Tina. Tina Din, who's going to be my partner in crime. Strong women lift each other up. Uh, she's the rock club leader for Boston. She's awesome. She's this tiny little power lifter and she'll beat anybody's butt that I know. So, uh, I love her. Shout out to Tina. And we've done a lot of events together and a lot of just, uh, rock club rocks together as well. So she's awesome. I, I should talk with her on the podcast sometime if I can hammer that down. Maybe at the HTL. Uh, what else? Oh, I wanted to talk to you about personal safety and the strange looks you get when you carry a sandbag through a sketchy part of Salem. <laughs> so I live in a not great area of Salem, which is called The Point. Uh, there was a fire in Salem like 100 years ago and it burned down a bunch of the buildings. And instead of the lovely historic houses that are in much of the rest of Salem from like the 17th and 18th century, we have a lot of triple deckers and a lot of single family small homes and some apartment buildings and a little bit of low income housing. So it's a very diverse neighborhood. Um, that said, I've been here for about four years. I've never had an issue. Um, and part of that is because I'm situationally aware. I walk with my head up, I walk on well-lit streets and I pay attention. But another part of that I like to think is because I think people recognize me as that blonde girl who's crazy enough to carry around a 60 pound sandbag at six o'clock in the morning and don't mess with her because she is not a soft target. So that's something I've learned from Goruck is don't be a soft target. Make yourself <laughs> look as intimidating or as crazy or as 
just not easy to bother as you possibly can. And I think sandbag carries through a rough area definitely help with that image. So do your PT outside. It'll make you less of a soft target and it gets you in shape. So it's, it's good stuff. <laughs> More life lessons from Go Ruck. Um, that's about five minutes. I'm actually going to wrap it up here. Uh, I got to get to work. You can still see my cat here in the picture. I love him. He's so good. He's very tolerant. Um, but I just wanted to touch base with you guys and remind you all to get out and do something good for your body today. Bye.